just a word about pricing you know uh, if you looked at the year gone by uh, when we talk to players across across the industry the pricing pressure is continuously stayed not just for this year actually even for the last last year as well are you hopeful that you'll be able to price your services better i think if you've seen over the years uh, over the last few quarters i think the whole industry has done well in terms of uh, managing their price realizations as you have seen pre 2008-9 to post 2008-9 the kind of engagement that we do with the customer organizations are far more tighter in the sense that the flexibilities that the service providers enjoy in terms of driving many things whether it is offshore on site utilization bulge mix and so on and therefore reducing the even the governance cost of the customer organization because more and more deals happen on an end to end basis overall cost to the customer comes down and yet you are able to drive productivity in a manner that you are able to deliver savings as well as hold on to your price realization so it isn't a game of saying what the coupon rates are but it's that is the customer getting the benefit of cycle time improvement benefit of cost reduction and are we getting maintaining making sure that our price realizations and margins are there so if net net if you look at on the more and more run there are pricing pressures but you have to drive more productivity to be able to make sure that there is a win win between what the customer is looking for what you're looking for and so far as the development projects are concerned and particularly in the advanced technology space i think there is a little bit of pricing power so in balance i would say there is fair, fair amount of stability in the pricing environment tk you were alluding to uh, your deal win specifically in the large deals that's 100 million dollar and 200 million dollar deals uh, what is your assessment of the deal pipeline here on are you seeing greater visibility out in the marketplace for the large deals uh, and which verticals would they be in so i think the way we are seeing large deals is that it's pretty much kind of secular ac across verticals if you look at last quarter the verticals that have done well for us has been healthcare and telecom healthcare grew 6.4% and telecom grew 5.6% for a industry that's really kind of hard up like telecom that's a pretty substantial growth and uh, as far as healthcare is concerned we have been very focused around the fact that we have to win both on the transform side of the business as well as the run side of the business and uh, the mix of business that we have got on both are the same but overall if you look at the 100 billion dollar pipeline i would say last quarter the closures were significantly better than what we saw in quarter 1 and we remain kind of optimistic that uh, the pipeline looks pretty healthy for us going forward